This depicts what we allege to be a massive and complex fraudulent enterprise. Five months after the case broke wide open, allegations of massive investor fraud involving developers Bill Stenger and Ariel Kuros at Jay Peak and Burke Mountain Resorts, a major milestone in the investigation. In a one-page statement, Stenger confirms he's agreed to a settlement with the Securities and Exchange Commission, one he hopes will fully resolve the civil case against him. I've not admitted nor have I denied the allegation, Stenger wrote, while working to assist the court-appointed manager now in charge of paying creditors and keeping both resorts afloat. But new documents just filed with the federal court in Miami do tell us more. Stenger agrees not to contest any upcoming civil penalty imposed by the SEC and promises his full cooperation with government investigators going forward. Legal analyst and former U.S. attorney Jerome O'Neill. It's really a cooperation agreement. That's really what it is. Because the SEC is holding penalties over his head, and if he doesn't, compl if he doesn't fully cooperate with them, they can bring forth penalties against him, and he is not in a position to contest those. He isn't in a position to contest it if they assert that he has committed fraud. Stenger's long denied even knowing about the diversion of millions of investor dollars to other projects, even to partner Ariel Kuros's personal accounts. The government, O'Neill says, is going to want Stenger's help. Mr. Kuros is the obvious target of the government, both criminally and civilly. While there's no agreement on a criminal basis here, one can easily read into this that if the SEC and the U.S. Attorney's Office would like his cooperation on the criminal case, he will be there. No mention of criminal charges against either man in these new documents, but O'Neill thinks Stenger's cooperation makes that less likely now. Stenger is also barred from soliciting investor money ever again. Now, by phone, Stenger told us he could not publicly uh, talk uh, beyond what's in his statement, but he's reportedly still going to work each day to help Jay Peake's court-appointed manager unravel the mess. Meantime, the lodge at Burke Mountain, another one of the Stenger Kuros EB-5 projects, finally celebrates its grand opening tomorrow. Live in the newsroom tonight, Stuart Ledbetter, NBC5 News.